Hey guys, and thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. So today I am bringing you a couple of hand lettering experiments that I did this past summer. Um, I kind of stumbled upon hand lettering by accident because I was actually trying to find ways to improve my normal handwriting because my handwriting is it's terrible. It's chicken scratch. I just, I don't know why it's, I've never had very good handwriting. Um, but even I can barely read it and I was trying to figure out ways to improve that. And so I just kind of stumbled upon, um, like the art of hand lettering and also the art of illustrated hand lettering. So this is the first time I ever tried doing it. Um, I'm just illustrating this little donut here with the word sweet. Um, Honestly, I think the inspiration behind this one was that I had gone to Dunkin' Donuts that morning, had gotten a coffee, and a strawberry frosted donut. And those strawberry frosted donuts are absolutely delicious. And so here I'm using um, watercolor paints um, because I had this little packet of watercolor paints that I got for my birthday and I really hadn't been able to use them very much. And so I just thought this would be the perfect way to do a little project and um, experiment with watercolors, experiment with hand lettering, and um, just practice my art. Um, and I was also doing these projects when I was at my uh, previous job. And like I said before, my last job was very, very busy. I didn't really have a lot of time to um, draw or paint or create a lot of art. And so hand lettering for a little while was a really perfect solution um, because it was just some small projects that didn't require a whole lot of detail or a whole lot of prep or a whole lot of um, messing around the way that like an oil painting or even an acrylic painting um, could potentially do. Um, and so I really had a lot of fun with these little experiments and anybody who knows me as an artist knows that I really like to experiment. I don't really stick with one medium at a time. Um, I tend to bounce from medium to medium, from subject to subject, um, concept to concept. I really am not consistent with what I do or how I make things. I just kind of go with the flow and figure out what I like at the time and um, just go from there. And so here um, I'm illustrating the word avocado. You may have seen this on my Facebook page. Um, I actually never used to like avocado, like when I was a kid or when I was in high school and even in college. I, I didn't like guacamole. I didn't like avocado on anything. So like when my friends would get avocado on their Subway sandwiches, I'm just like, ew, what are you doing? Um, but then somehow this past summer, I just completely fell in love with avocado. I started putting it in salads. Um, I started eating guacamole at every possible opportunity. Um, like, I don't know what it was, but my, I, but my taste buds like completely changed to actually enjoy avocado. And you know, they do actually say that your taste buds change like every seven years or so. Um, and so maybe mine were just due for a change. Um, because now I, I can't survive without avocado. I eat guacamole at every family function I possibly go to. Um, every time I go out to eat at a Mexican restaurant, I have to get guacamole. Um, and so I just thought this little experiment here was a fun way to illustrate my newfound love for avocado. And on top of that, this was also a really great, uh, great way for me to practice with my uh, Prismacolor markers. Um, they're, I think that's like in my top three of my all-time favorite mediums. And again, I made this during a very busy time in my life. And so um, it was just a lot of fun to be able to break these out and work with these um, on a very simplistic project. And so my last hand lettering experiment here is um, an illustration of the moon from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now, I've actually never beaten this game, but I did play it quite a lot when I was a kid, and I do like to watch Let's Plays of it. Um, but when I was a kid, this game was really, really scary. Like, the music was scary, the Skull Kid was scary, just looking up in the sky and, and seeing this moon coming closer and closer, and you know, it had some really dark themes, like the apocalypse, and like the world is gonna end in three days, and um, but I mean, it's a really fun game, it's a beautiful game, um, just the design of it and the concept of it is all really, really beautiful. And so the line that I used for my lettering was, um, the one and only thing the moon says during the entire game, which is consume, I will consume all, um, right before the final showdown between 
Link, and Majora. And so for this I chose um, like a serif font, kind of like a Times New Roman or something like that. And this one was actually pretty tricky. I kind of struggled with straight lines and trying to get this curve down correctly. And then um, for the letters on the bottom of the moon, I had to put these little dots in between the like in between the words um, because I realized a little bit too late that I put them a little bit too close together. Um, but this one was definitely a lot of fun. This kind of took me back to my childhood and. Um, you know, playing on, um, I actually played Majora's Mask on my GameCube because um, when I bought, when my family got us a GameCube, um, it came with this disc with um, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and all of like the classic um, 8 bit Legend of Zelda games as well. So that's what got me into Legend of Zelda in the first place. Alright, so that just about does it for this video. Let me know which one of my three hand lettering experiments you liked the most, and please let me know if you'd like me to do additional um, hand lettering projects in the future. Like I said before, I love trying out new things and trying out new projects, um, so having some ideas for future projects would be awesome. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting new content at least once a week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.